Current Events Highlights of January 2016 In this essay, we will talk about four important events which could be relevant from the examination point of view. The four events are number 1 the juvenile justice and that is care and protection of children act of 2015 becoming a law 2 bharat innovation fund 3 system to monitor aerosols and black carbon in the atmosphere this is an important science subject and fairly relevant because of the increasing awareness of about the air pollution in india and Finally, in the sports area and women achievements, Sania Mirza's further achievements in world tennis. Now let us start with the Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of Children Act of 2015. The Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of Children Act 2015 has come into force from 15th January 2016. The new act repeals, that is, replaces the Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of Children Act of 2000. The Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of Children Bill 2015 was passed by Lok Sabha in May 2015 and by Raj Sabha in December 2015 and it received a precedent assent on 31st December 2015. The Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of Children Bill provides for a strengthened provisions for both children in need of care and protection and children in the conflict with the law. Keeping in view the increasing number of serious offenses being committed by persons in the age group of 16 to 18 years and recognizing the rights of the victims being equally important as the rights of juveniles, special provisions have been incorporated in this act. That is to tackle the heinous offenses committed by individuals in this age group. Now, let us see the key provisions of the Act. The Act clearly defines and classifies offenses as petty, serious, heinous and defines a differentiated process for each category. It establishes a statutory status for the Child Adoption Resources Authority, that is CARA. C A R E. It also proposes several rehabilitation and social integration measures for institutional and non-institutional children. It provides for a sponsorship and foster care as completely new measures. There is also mandatory provision for the registration of all institutions engaged in providing child care that is required according to the Act. And it also includes new offenses including illegal adoption, corporal punishment in the child care institutions, the use of children by militant groups and offenses against disabled children. These are also incorporated in the legislation. The new law gives the Juvenile Justice Board the power to assess whether the perpetrator of heinous crime aged between 16 and 18 had acted as a child or as an adult. The board of course will be assisted in this process by psychologists and social experts. It strikes a balance. It strikes a fine balance between the demands of the stakeholders asking for a continued protection of rights of juveniles and the popular demand of citizens in the light of increasing incidence of heinous crimes by young boys. The next event is Bharat Innovation Fund. The Bharat Innovation Fund is a public-private academia partnership that is set up by Indian Institute of Management, IIM Ahmedabad, Center for Innovation, Incubation and Entrepreneurship. The fund was launched by the Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi in September 2015 during the Startup Connect event in California. The fund will be managed and coordinated by the Center for Innovation and Incubation Entrepreneurship as mentioned above and it will support innovation and innovative startups in the areas of healthcare and life sciences. Sustainability, 
and digital technologies will be important issues. The fund will use important tools such as labs, mentorship, funding and networking to support entrepreneurs who take on hard challenges and ever-broadening Indian market. Since it is the launch in the Startup Connect event, the Bharat Fund has received a pledges from several government and corporate entities such as Department of Industrial Promotion and Policy, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, Tata Trust and others. The Department of Biotechnology along with the Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council also has announced its participation in the Bharat Innovation Fund. The Department of Biotechnology will engage with the Bharat Fund as a part of the department's efforts under the Startup India initiative to help commercialize technologies from its laboratories and facilities. The Department of Biotechnology has announced to invest about 50 crore rupees for the next three years in support of startups through this fund. And then there's a productive innovations from the Department of Biotechnology that can make a huge impact in people's lives. And this has been seen in the advances of medicine in the years. Then we move on to the next event that is a science subject and also something to do with the air pollution which is increasingly being talked about in the media. That is the system to monitor aerosols and black carbon in the atmosphere. The Indian Meteorological Department has launched a system of aerosol monitoring and research. It is supposed to help the country in studying concentration of black carbon in the atmosphere due to air pollution and its impact on climate. Aerosols are a subset of air pollution and they contain gases, fumes, dust in harmful proportion. Aerosol particles can be both solid and liquid and they affect environmental visibility as well. This summer, that is, the system of aerosol monitoring and research is equipped with many sophisticated equipments including 12 sky radio meters and that will study aerosols, uh, the different properties and determine how its impact will be on the climate over a long period of time. At present, the country has to depend on other countries' research for this purpose. Lastly, we come to Sanya Mirza's achievements in sports area, that is the tennis. Sanya Mirza again has created a world record, winning a 29th straight match. India's Sanya Mirza and her Swiss partner Martina Hingis have broken a 22-year-old world record by winning their 29th women's doubles match, that is in a row.